United Church of Christ really rewriting their history, fixing it to reflect reality. Well, spill it. You know how we used to say that the UCC was founded by four streams of Christianity? Congregational, Christian Connection, German Evangelical, and Reformed? Yeah. There's a fifth stream. What? The Afro-Christian churches. How have I never heard of them? Racism, mostly. Afro-Christian members were dehumanized. In the words of Dr. Delk, they were seen as objects of mission, not subjects who informed mission. They got lumped in with the Christian connection, even though they were a distinct group with their own churches, missions, education programs, and worship styles. Are they really that different? They do share other streams' emphasis on unity and the centrality of Jesus and social justice, but they're uniquely rooted in their African identity. They also connect to God not only with mind, but with body and spirit. Are you saying the rest of the UCC doesn't have spirits? Some do tend to be less embodied in worship. There's nothing wrong with being intellectual. You can be an intellectual and still feel the spirit. The Afro-Christian churches have always valued education. Early on, they not only founded 150 churches, but 150 Sunday schools. They also founded the Franklinton Literary and Theological Institute, later called Franklinton Christian College, now the Franklinton Center at Bricks, which not only does education, but hosts the Social Justice Center, plus a center for African American historic preservation. And they do community development programs for rural communities. That is a lot. So how did such an important group get left out? Turns out white people with a desire for unity are still racist sometimes. Huh. Lifting up our Afro-Christian roots may offer the UCC a path forward. And, in the words of Dr. Delk, some clarity about who we're going to be in the midst of brokenness when the beloved community is a vision still struggling to come into existence.